Then he ordered some of the strongest men in his army to tie up the three boys and throw them into the furnace. The fire was so hot that the soldiers that were, th that were um, told to throw them in the furnace were killed by just the flames. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were securely tied up and they fell down in the middle of the flames. Suddenly the king jumped to his feet and shouted, how many men did you put inside the fire? The, the men said three. The king asked, weren't they tied up? The army soldiers said, yes, tied up, sure, tied up tightly. Then the king said, then why do I see four men walking around in the flames? They aren't tied up, they aren't hurt by the flames at all. The fourth man looks like the son of the living God, the king said. He went to the door of the furnace and called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out. When they came out, all the king's officials went to look at them. They were amazed that the boys were not burned. They did not even have the smell of smoke on them. The king was so impressed that he declared, Praise to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. His angel rescued these servants because they trusted him. They disobeyed my command in order to obey their God, and he protected them throughout the punishment. Because of that, I decreed that no one should speak a word against their God. No other God rescues like their God. In this story, we find a lesson called God Will Rescue You. According to Daniel chapter 3, verse 17, if we are thrown into a blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power and your majesty. When the storm of life comes, it is easy to get overwhelmed by what going, what's, what's going on around you. You might, dis, you might get discouraged by opposition or criticism, but during those different, difficult times, it's important to remember that when everything comes against you, often it's because God has something great in store for you. When the Hebrew teenager Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to the king's golden idol, he got so furious that he made the furnace ten and seven times hotter than normal. That's when that's what happens when you're close to your victory. The fire gets turned up. Yes. People start talking about you. Unfair situations arise. It seems that just as you get past one obstacle, something else pops up. Why is that? It's because the enemy knows you're so close to your victory, and he's trying to throw you off course. This is the time when many people give up. They quit coming to church, go around mad, complaining, simply because they don't know their religion. They lose sight of the victory God has promised for them. The scripture tells us that when the enemy comes like a raging flood tide, the spirit of the Lord will drive him back. Part of our privileges as children of the most high God is that when the problems come, when life feels overwhelming, God has promised he'll always be there for us. I love the fact that these three teenagers weren't panicking. They didn't get upset or become afraid. They were in complete peace. They knew that God was still on the throne. They trusted that he had a plan for them and he was gonna work out this plan for the good and his ultimate glory. The king's official tied them up, threw them into a furnace. A few minutes later, when the king came to check on them, he was very confused. He said, "Then we tie them up and throw three men inside the furnace. I see four men untied and one looks like the son of the living God. The scripture says God brought them through the fire without even having a smell of smoke. You may feel like you're in the fire today. You may feel like the heat is being turned up, that someone is coming against you. Be encouraged because there's something great in store that's on just on the horizon. When the heat gets turned up, it means that you're close to your victory. If you stay in faith, God will give you, God will do what he did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He'll be with you in the fire and he'll bring you out even without the smell of smoke. Thank you for listening. Amen. Que l'Éternel nous garde, que l'Éternel nous dirige, que l'Éternel nous bénisse, que le Dieu de paix qui a ramené d'entre les morts le grand pasteur des brebis par le sang d'une alliance éternelle vous purifie de même tout entier et que tout votre être, l'esprit, l'âme et le corps soient conservés irrépréhensibles jusqu'à l'avènement de notre Sauveur et Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Allez en paix, bien-aimés, que Dieu vous bénisse tous. Amen. Maranatha. Amen.